Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to try one quick thing here. I want to show you, uh, even though this is kind of covered on the forums, I want to show you how to install external libraries, extension libraries, and you might say to yourself, why am I even bothered doing that? Uh, at some point, you probably will need to do that, particularly with 3D animation, particularly if somebody else has written scripts for you that require these libraries. You're going to have to install these, and it's not horrific, particularly using uh, the pip, the package installment package or system, whatever, whatever it is for Python, package, Python installment package, I guess, I don't know. Um, uh, so it's, it's pretty straightforward, but there's a few things you need to do. First thing you need to do is, is edit your environmental variable so it points to iClone. And the way you do that is you just go to your Windows search thing and type in environmental variables. And what will happen is it'll bring up a window um, somewhat like this and uh, almost exactly like this. And then you go down to environmental variables and then you go down your path here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put in this path. Now it won't necessarily say program files, real illusion, iClone 7, because your installation path may be different, but it's wherever you have iClone 7 installed. And you're gonna say exactly this, program files, real illusion, and then iClone 7 and then bin 64. That's all you say. The docs, I'm, I'm going by the docs where they explain how to do this, and it's a little confusing. It isn't really written right because it says, put this stuff in. You don't want to put this stuff in. You just want to put what I just said right in there, that uh, program files, real illusion, iPhone 7, bin 64. Make sure it's there. Say, OK, pass. So it's there in your path. Say, OK, and now that's, that's in your path. And then the other thing you do at that point is that you go to uh, a command prompt like this, you know how to bring up a command prompt, right? You could also type in command prompt in your in your system. And then you just type in iClone uh, py.exe to see the version that you have. That just shows you that, that that's path to that uh, particular exe. So it is path, so that's correct. Path worked. The next thing you do is install PIP, but this is a little tricky. You have to do it as administrator. It won't. You cannot do it any other way. Um, so you could run a command prompt as administrator, and for those of you using Windows 8, you just press the Windows key at X, and it will bring up a sidebar. Once again, I can't show you because it it's on my other monitor, but it brings up a sidebar that's, that has command prompt as admin. Uh, however, if you're using Windows 10, particularly the more recent versions, they will have PowerShell installed. And I don't happen to like PowerShell. Uh, some people do. I, I really dislike it. So you can change that, though, in your personalization settings. And if you want more advice about how to do that, I'd be glad to, to give you. Just go into personalization and turn off the, the PowerShell, and then you'll get the regular uh, ability to run command prompt as, as admin, which I like. So uh, again, that's, that's just up to you. You can, you can do whatever you want. But, but once, you, once you've done that, once you can see, then you, you get this. If you don't do this otherwise, you'll get uh, this PowerShell stuff. And PowerShell is weird. I just don't like it. So anyway, I, I much prefer Command Prompt as admin. So that's what I do. So once it's an admin, then you run the, the instructions to install PIP, which is real simple. You just write, type in uh, here in this path. You have to be in your install path where the scripts are. So it's, it's once again, you would type in. And whenever you have a... Um, um, a uh, path that has spaces in it in Windows, you have to uh, type in uh, the in quotes. So we just do program files and then it's uh, ah, gotta be able to type though. It's early in the morning. Uh, oh, program, that's right. I know what it was. Program files, real illusion. Uh, this is my path. Obviously, your path may vary. iClone 7, I think that's, and then you can go. Um, in 64 and then I mean I'm, I'm doing these so that you can go one at a time to see but you can put it all all in at once and see scripts and then Python and then from there you you type in get pi you type in this I'm not going to do this because I already I've already installed pip but you just do that and it will install pip for you I promise you <laughs> It'll do, if you're running this admin in there so if you get this far and you install pip then you're basically home free now at this point in time, all you have to do to install is just run this command here. So you just type in iClone py minus m, and that's some kind of command prompt for something pip, and then install whatever package you want. Now in my case, I want the NumPy package, which is really useful, but the reason I really started this is I want to get 
the SCIPY package. That's the scientific Python package. Uh, that one is is what I've got, what I need right now at this point in time. So if you're going to use my scripts, you're going to probably need that library too. So we hit that, and basically it goes out and finds it and installs it. There really, there really isn't a whole lot to that once you know what package you want to install and once you have pip installed on your system and your path correctly. So that's basically all it's to, all there is to it, um, and uh, it's installing it. It's 100% download. There it goes. Collected the package. It's doing the, the, it had to have NumPy to, to be able to install that package. So it knew it was there. It's collecting all this stuff. Without PIP, you have to do these things by hand. And that really is a, a complete drag. You're basically with building binaries. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so now that's installed. You might say, well, okay, I don't really understand. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is that when you write a script, when you have a script and you want to include things like you include these packages, like here's a, I'm, I'm including something from that package. If you don't have that package to begin with, then these imports will fail, okay? So uh, that's why if you've ever looked at any of your scripts, they always say import RLPY. That's a package from Realusion to do that. So you have to have these other packages installed or it's gonna fail. And these, these particular ones already come with Python, but SCPI does not. And so now I have that. So now I'll be able to, uh, to run this program. So anyway, that's our lesson for this morning. And uh, hopefully that's helpful. And like I said, at some point you're, you are going to want to do this. Um, but these instructions aren't real straightforward. So hopefully this little video will help.